Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. Every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 173 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times, obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Throws the right hand there. Blocks the shot. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Single collar tie now. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. 
So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Nice kick. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, just misses with the kick. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. And he landed the right hand there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big punch land. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Hands up, hands up. Punch him in the face. Yeah. Hey, there is he lands his. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Good right hand. All right, single collar tie now. Some blood starting to trickle down in and around that left eye. Hopefully it doesn't affect his vision. <laughs> Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. <laughs> Missed with that right hand. Dude is good. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back in range. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. He is throwing a fast, straight hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. <laughs> his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and it's a right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Try to establish that jab. Able to check that kick as well. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. The right hand just misses. Nice strike. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. 
All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. And he caught the kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. There's no tell on that leg and kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Powerful leg kick lands. Watch right hand is true. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result has really picked up the pace in round two. job of landing that kick over and over again. Whiffs on the right hand. Big head Hard kick. shots landing on both sides here. Beautiful strike. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Right hand upstairs. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Nice head kick. Just missed with the left there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. show you some of the action here and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here thought he might have had him out of there he thought he had him but the guy's tough the guy's durable he has a fantastic chin but he just needs to stay the course he does not need to be discouraged think about this you're winning and you're winning going away that was just a moment 
keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. He loaded up on that right hand, too. over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been... Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Change. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Uh. Slips to avoid the right. Oh, Superman punches Drew. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Way to hide that leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, he lands another shot. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, missed on that one. Oh! Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he got him hurt bad. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Close guard. Right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Big kick lands. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 21 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by Knockout Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You've only asked to pull the win. I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get him? It's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.